<sighs> good afternoon, good afternoon. Come on board, joining me in the replay. My name is Barry Selby. Hi, welcome. Hi, Connie, nice to have you here. Thanks for coming in. And tap the screen back. There it goes. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Thanks for coming in, and uh, particularly the replay viewers who are here. And for the first time, is make sure they do make sure you follow me. You do make sure you make sure. That was really silly. Hello, Miss Go Get Blissed. Good to have you back. Um, you get some cell phone reception, I guess, issues in your van, I noticed. Um, that's the challenge about being a mobile type scoper, finding good reception areas. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Thanks for coming in. This is my daily love scope. And thank you, Connie, for inviting your followers. And thank you, Go Get Blissed, too. Um, all right. Um, this is my love scope that I do every day. And this one actually came out of a thing that happened last night that got me thinking. And so the topic today is about, um, you know, be yourself because everyone else is taken. This is especially true, especially true in your love relationships. Um, before we get to that, let me just explain who I am and why I'm speaking about this stuff. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I am the Heartbreak Repair Specialist, also known as the Love Doctor, my friends. I am um, a relationship expert because I've been a student of this stuff for 30 years in different teachings. So not just with one relationship, but lots of different teachers and experts and guides, which actually resulted in my own book, which is called 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. That's it right there. It is on Amazon um, as a physical book, as you can see, or Kindle. Um, it is available also on my website as an ebook. and I'll give you that link in a second. Uh, so I pick up my note sheets. I have note sheets here. If you want to know more about the book by reading my on my website, barrysilby.com slash book. That's where you get the ebook. You can get the link there to Amazon for the physical book and the Kindle version if you want. I've got some deals on my website, and so does Amazon, so you can get anywhere you want. All right. Um, and also, before I go any further, I want to give a quick plug. Hi, Andrew. Thanks for joining me. Um, that all the archives, because Periscope lasts 24 hours, and I've got way over 180 scopes done now, of which about 170 are on uh, Catch, my Catch account. So catch.me slash Barry Selby is where all my archives are stored. So any of my old love scopes, previous ones before today, will be there. So you can browse through them there. Now, unfortunately, Catch doesn't let you categorize or sub-sort them or put them into different folders, so they're all there. But the majority of them are all about love and relationships, and the word love scope is in every single scope that I do about relationships and love. So you can go look from there. Okay? So that's that. And I'll do a promise of something else later on, but then we'll get to the topic in hand. So... If you're looking for love, or if you're in a relationship, it's tempting to put on a um, presentation to be basically um, something you're not. Because you want to impress who you're coming up against, who you're meeting, who you're attractive to. Mainly because a lot of times, the person you're attracted to, you think, in, and inaccurately, that they won't like who you are. Now, I'm sure that's never happened to you. It has happened to me, <laughs> both ways. And it sucks. And the reason why it sucks is because the pretense can only go on so long. It's so tempting sometimes to put on your best behavior, to be perfect, to make it to make just right, to make it perfect for the partner because you want to respect them that way. The challenge or the risk with that is you can't keep doing that forever. At some point in time, there'll be a fac the facade will fall and they'll see who you really are. So you've got options. One is to work even harder to keep pretending that it's not going to work that way, and it doesn't. Another option is to run away and start again with somebody else. The best option, and the one that's in the title, is to be yourself. We're all unique and different. And referring back to um, last night's events, well, that's where it came from, this idea, um, was actually had a video, it was an event about how to use video in marketing and share about this stuff, and the person speaking is a friend of mine. We're talking about the most important quality to have when you're doing videos is to be authentic, to be yourself, however outrageous, different, unusual, unique it is. So to try and fit into a box, and like for me, if I was going to do videos, I'd put on a like suit and tie and sit very reserved. That's not who I am. I'm more casual, as you can tell. And so it's being natural and being authentic and being real in your videos. And that reflects back to relationships. And that's why I talk about this in this context. It's your best interest. It's your best interest, your best likelihood of success is if you're authentic it's in my book and I talk about that being authentic in your relationships and love life because it's easier as much crazy as it sounds because many of us have been trained to put on a facade a mask a wall up that's not who we are 
because we have to succeed or achieve or do certain things, we put on this persona of who we should be rather than who we are. I'm basically saying, don't do that. <laughs> what I'm really here to encourage you to do is to live your truth, to be authentic in every interaction, in relationship and everywhere else too. So I'm, I'm passionate about this, obviously, but I'm also um, recommending you take this on yourself, that you step into your own authentic expression in any relationship you're in, but especially in your intimate ones, because that's where you're gonna get close to somebody and the benefit, just dropping that one in, of being, excuse me, itchy nose, being an authentic person in a relationship is the intimacy you have is bigger, deeper, wider, more connected. Because when you're putting on a mask, that's a separation from the person you're trying to be intimate with. It doesn't work that way. I don't just mean sex, I mean connection. I mean the intimacy of heart to heart, of being with somebody special. You want a healthy relationship, an amazing relationship? The less walls between you and them, the easier it is. And the more challenging it is too. Because for many of us, we feel safe behind those walls. So, bottom line again, is be yourself from the get-go. If you're looking on online apps to do dating, if you're going to, if you're, sorry, if you're on online sites or going to smartphone apps, so for dating apps, be authentic in your message. Use pictures that are current. I mean, it sounds so simplistic, but it's true that you can have a much more likely success, or much more likelihood of success in your love life, in your relationships, if you bring yourself into the picture, clear, authentic, real. Any questions? I think it's pretty clear what I'm stating. This is basically a simple, succinct teaching to get you a thought about love and relationships. Um, as I said, this is in my book, which I'll just refer back to again. Sorry, for, we should have to get that. Hi, Andrew, thanks for coming back in again. Um, I do talk about it in the book. I don't remember which chapter it is, but it's in one of my 50 principles. So you can get it in the book and get all the other principles too. Um, yeah, so any questions on that? Because I'm going to make one quick offer. A lot of people are dropping and dropping out. It's okay, the replay will catch it. Um, one quick offer invitation for the ladies in particular because I have had a lot of conversations with women who are looking to attract what they really want but don't know how. So for them, and if this is one of you, please listen up. Um, this um, offer is something that I have created especially for the ladies because that's my primary audience. Sorry guys, that's who I work with. And the, um, we'll say, the core element is a vision program, basically attracting what you want. I put dating advantage because it gives you a heads up, it gives you a head start and gives you a leg up, as it were, in getting what you want in a relationship. That program is an online program that I run for eight weeks, um, and I'm going to re-release re it soon with coaching as well. That's why it's a higher premium point. But I've taken the core program, that whole eight-week program, and condensed it into a home study workbook you can get now for a ridiculously low price. <laughs> so I'm going to let you know what it is now. So it's called your dating advantage. And you get to it from going here, which is bit.ly slash datingwb. So again, bit.ly slash datingwb. And it is, the online program is, is running now, still running for $400, but you can't get to it. I'm taking it offline temporarily. But the download that you can get as the home study workbook is only $69 right now, which is frankly a bargain. So if you want to get a head start, ladies, on attracting the right sort of relationship, to get clear about what you want, to step into it and authentically attract the love you really want, I recommend you go look at the page first, read about it, see what you think of it. If you like it, sign up. It's an immediate download, so you basically you buy it, and basically you get an email, the link to download the whole package, and it's in your inbox, and you can work with it every time you want. So again, the link to go to is, oops, just step back and see the whole thing. bit.ly slash datingwb. So it was that $400 program before, now it's down to $69. So that's it. So if you're looking for love in all the wrong places, and you want to do it the right way, this will help you dramatically with that. So that's it. Hi Val, nice to have you here. So just I've just finished, basically my scope is a very brief one. Um, yeah, it was kind of brief, only about 10 minutes. But it was succinct, to the point, about being yourself in any relationship, and particularly if you're looking to attract love, attract the real love you want, then being focused on what you want, being focused on who you are, to be authentic, to be real, to be connected, is the healthiest way to attract a relationship. Because first of all, you don't have to pretend anything, Second of all, you get to take down the walls and have more intimacy to connect with someone. Thank you, Val. Yeah, I appreciate it. Go back and have a look. It was, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but it's really fundamental because a lot of people don't get it. So this is kind of my way of saying, get it. You get it? Got it? Good. So go back and watch the replay. Um, and hey, good to see you here. Um, it's something I want to share. Is, sorry, there's some, some people making some noise over there. I'm not sure what they're doing. 
because they're pulling cables through a, a pipe, so it sounds really weird. Anyway, that's the scope. That's the details today for my love scope. I do love scopes every day, at least six days a week. There are basically keys, principles, teachings to help you get more love in your life the right way. So that's where I work. If you want to find out more about me, go to my website, which is barryselby.com. Um, where's that? Yeah, just post that Patreon site, find it. You should go to barryselby.com, the, the website itself. This is the book page, but you should go to barryselby.com and check out my offerings, my work, and what I'm about. All right? So that's it. Thanks for watching the scope. Goodbye, points to the replay if you haven't done so. Thanks for giving the hearts and sharing on Facebook and Twitter and Periscope. And I'm back on again tomorrow. Okay? See you tomorrow. Bye.